I guess this is around the point that we should cue Missile Waster hopping into the chat talking about how high he is. <laughs> oh my god, it says the video is an hour and four minutes and 20 seconds. Shit. I remember when I was like that, like a year ago. You still are. <laughs> no, I don't announce it anymore. Yeah, you do. I heard it when I was... This is you. That is me doing to you what we've all wished we could do. You come into a chat, hi. <laughs> that is not nice. I'm sorry. You're lucky it was only filled with rock salt. He'll be fine. He's going to go live on a farm upstate. <laughs> it's safer to get shot by rock salt. There's a lot of space for him to run around in, you know? He'll be fine. Lots of cows he can chase. Yep. Alright, so, uh... Might as well finish off this Elizabeta shit. Get the hell out of the ghetto. Oh wait, we still gotta do missions for Playboy and Dwayne and... Uh. hate this game. <laughs> We're on the second <laughs> island though, which is a lot more interesting. No it's not, it's terrible! Well, I like it. <sighs> I can't even... I like this game. So I can't I even bring can't my car into the apartment. <laughs> And what the hell is going on with his shirt? Stylish. I want it. Maybe it's like one of those stoner hoodies. It's like made out of Mexican blanket. Now to all of our white viewer out there, uh, he keeps calling her a bloody tampon. I guess. No. But some people he introduced me to have ripped me off big time. So much animal print in this video. <laughs> Oh wow! Zebra stripe against. Don't come on my face. Look at those Crazy. dirty curtains. <laughs> yeah, was, was, yeah. Or maybe they're also animal print curtains. I think that's paint. Hmm. Or perhaps some sort of bleaching from uh, crack use. <laughs> I don't know if it does that, but I'll assume so. She doesn't use crack does. though, does she? She uses cocaine. Well, that doesn't mean she doesn't deal it. Ooh, classy car for a classy suit. It's the nicest voodoo I've seen. I don't know, uh, one of the gangs on one of the islands had, that was informative. Oh, the, uh, Jamaican gang. One of gang. the gangs has a, has a pretty sweet fleet of voodoos. The Jamaican gang has a nice fleet in this game, I think. It's got the three different colored scheme going on. Yeah. They also have the Huntleys that are decorated in the same way. Yeah, but you can earn those, I think, uh, by doing all of Jacob's missions. Whoops! But it's a lot easier to just steal one. Uh, maybe if you're bad at this game. Are you gonna leave the scene of the crime, or just kind of hang around? Absolutely not. I got nothing to fear. I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> but you're an immigrant. But Touché. he's white. I'm one of the good kind that can speak English good. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Pretty snazzy beats. Yeah, I, I decided to put some actual music on here, but I kept, I kept my finger over the uh, over the next track uh, button, so every four seconds I would just skip ahead. <laughs> now, pay close attention here. I crash. Oh, oh no, wait, never mind. Not this, not this part yet. Oh. Uh, there's one point where I, like, plow full speed with the police on my tail into other vehicles that are waiting to pay that toll. You see Nico reach his hand out and pay the $5. <laughs> so, you know, you don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Wouldn't want to get more in trouble. Yeah, I mean, I already have a busted out tail light. <laughs> and you killed that cop that might... Color their opinion of is you this somehow. some sort of remix of Blue Monday, or is it the original? I believe this is the original. All right. It's just got the like 30 second intro. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I asked if it was a remix, is because the one that I think is is the original is the one that I heard first, which was actually a cover. So, uh, by Orgy. <laughs> Alright, we'll see. It wasn't that hard to find my way. Ooh. Better vehicle, though. Mm -hmm. 
It's back. The bus. 72. <laughs> the number 72 is back in style. All right, finally. I can get all my 72 <laughs> shirts out. Some storage. I can wear my number 72 jersey. You hear that, Grandma? If I knew anything You're about sports, I would say <laughs> the name of a player who had 72. <laughs> yeah. You know, I really like the bosses in this game. I have to give them credit for it. They yeah, they got hard. the uh, weird tops like they do now. Oh. Also, they just have a really nice feel to them. As you plow into other drivers. <laughs> I like that racist man 3D uh, YouTube video where he has the bus and he's like modified it to be super heavy and he's just plowing down the bridge, destroying everything. Hmm. 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 Well, time to make my hmm. own trail. <laughs> that is rude. Well, you know, generally you shouldn't get out of your car when a bus smashes you, uh, so you're riding on your side on the edge of a bridge. <laughs> so, uh... Holy Too much tire. <sighs> Too much carnage in a bus, though, causes massive slowdown. Since it's a bus, wouldn't it be busnage? <laughs> hmm, yes. I enjoyed it. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. We're in President City for President's Day. Alright. Happy President's Day. Who's your favorite president? None of them. Really? The Muslim one. No, not Obama, the other one. Okay, who's your favorite foreign president? I don't uh, know. I don't know enough about foreign presidents to have a favorite. De Gaulle? Hmm. Wait, do they have to be alive? No. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, okay, I can't say who's your favorite alive president, because then you have, like, three Eight choices choose. and... <laughs> Most of them are terrible. Okay. I guess, yeah, eight. Eight? Mm. Jimmy Carter. I would say that Jimmy Carter is the least terrible. Clinton, uh, Bush, Bush 2, uh, Obama. Yeah, I guess there's plenty. Okay, so I, I'm still sticking with my original. I would say Carter is probably the least terrible of them. <laughs> Carter Jump. was sort of, like, benevolently ineffectual. Like Jesus. JC. He was a carpenter. How's my driving? <laughs> nice video here? effects here. He's. We've got a slow mo shot of a wheel with some sparks flying in. All right. <laughs> hey, you realize how long it took to render this shit? The entire video is in quarter speed. That's why it's over an hour long. <laughs> Great. Oh boy, I can't wait to hear some slow mo cutscenes. It's really no different than the slow mo uh, oh, scenes on drugs oh. from uh, from GTA 3. Hey. Wow, that was a great slow mo sequence there. I don't know why the game decided to toss that in there, but whatever. Oh, you didn't do that? Nope. Oh. The game what? just randomly decided to to do that because I had the cinematic camera on. Oh. Sweet. I didn't know it did slow down. Oh. Yeah. At seemingly random times. Nico. <laughs> You're a ghost. How did this happen? Immigrant ghosts leave this place. <laughs> but this is our old hospital! <laughs> so spooky. But you are taking our job, said John Freeman. Straight from Bolivia, manito. Stealing hauntings from domestic ghosts. native ghosts. If the best stuff got made in Mexico, oh well, this is... That's why Casper always walks around with that little bag slung over his shoulder, because he's homeless now. Alright, so, uh, just a little background here. I had to do this mission, like, 40 times when I was playing this on the PS3. Oh, yeah, uh, I remember this mission. I died, like, 20 times. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculously hard. I can imagine that this, that a lot of the missions in this game would be much harder without a mouse and keyboard. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I, I managed to find a little 
exploit here, a little glitch, if you will. Uh, apparently, if you don't grab the health packs the first time, um, as you're running through, and then you happen to exit the building, nearly successfully completing your mission, and then go back in for whatever reason, it will respawn them. Seemingly, uh, infinitely. Cheating in a GTA game? Yes. I know it's uncouth. I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, it's not cheating unless you actually, like, actively put in a cheat code or modify the game in some it's way. If it's just exploiting a, a mechanic, that's not cheating. It's a feature. <laughs> How will you ever get that t-shirt? Actually, what is the 100%? That stupid helicopter with the machine gun on it. And it's not even, like, a good... Ver it's, it's not like the Hunter in the old GTA games. <sighs> Alright, so after some more dicking around in the bushes, eventually I will make my way inside, <laughs> soon as I'm sure that it's relatively safe. Somebody's gay. Better be me. Let's see how much. Very. How fair. Got a... Is a droid has a... Gay detector. It's a that gaydar. It's being put out by by droid. It lets me Wait, know. isn't there? A, what's it called? Grinder or something? I yeah, that's no a that is. that's a gay uh, meetup. Yeah. App. My huh. roommate like that was the first thing he downloaded when he got an iPhone. Was he gay or just cruising? Gay. Oh. So he's doing the opposite of Nico and that French Tom thing. Yes. I think Nico is a little homophobic. <laughs> well, you know, that's just the culture over there and wherever the fuck Not he's Not in the showers! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when did he say that? I can't remember. I don't remember. But but he was, like, really emphatic and got mad. Oh, right, about, yeah. yeah. About, it. yeah, he was in prison. I never did that. I think, <laughs> I think, maybe, I think maybe he did. Oh boy. A little bit. <laughs> so many dudes for it's one little drug deal. Like, like yeah, but it's a really That's sweet duffel bag. That's what Nico said bag. when he was in prison. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really sweet duffel bag that all those drugs are being kept in. It's the official Rockstar duffel bag from the special edition of GTA 4. Which I did not receive. I'm sorry, apparently I threw it out. I sent you the lockbox, though. Yes. And now you Why would can lock you throw up... away a perfectly good duffel bag? Because it sucked and it was tiny. <laughs> it was like the size of a fanny pack. <laughs> Maybe it was the official Rockstar Games fanny pack. So you can look like a Liberty City tourist. <laughs> I might as well have to put on, like, a visor and, you know... Walked around with a bunch of blue haired old bitches. Goodness. I'm sorry, they're women. I shouldn't talk that way about them. <laughs> Alright, so this is only half the mission anyway. There's explosives all over the place in this building, left usually in the doorways. You're mine, fuck it. It's still what? I think that guy just called I... me I... A knight? Oh, whatever. Okay, there's Ooh, someone there. had a lady pose and then spray painted over her, left her imprint on the wall. I'm very disappointed they didn't, uh, or nobody decided to, um, deface it by adding a penis later on. Like Silvio Berlusconi. Sure. He attached a magnetic penis to one of the statues in his office. Huh. Well, thank goodness he's on trial now. Alright, so... Oh, and she was standing on a milk crate and was very short. Well, you know, they did say that she might have been an underage prostitute. So... <laughs> They certainly put a lot of effort into all this graffiti. Mm-hmm. 
But anyway, this is only half. Maybe they photographed real graffiti around New York City and put it into the game. Nope, because they don't have any of that stupid graffiti that Sony put up to uh, try and get people interested in the PSP. Interesting. Yeah, they got in trouble for it a couple of years ago because technically that is a form of advertising, and well, they six. <laughs> you should have picked up that shotgun that was um I have a better shotgun. By the door. It, I think that was the combat shotgun out there. I am holding a combat shotgun. No, you're holding an automatic shotgun. There, there's a better Autom shotgun out there. The combat this. one is like the the best one you get in Left 4 Dead. Yeah. Oh. And I oh. think that was what was out there. Whatever. Point is, uh I have all the guns now. So who needs courage? <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, yeah, the other half of this mission is fighting your way out, because the place is immediately swarmed by cops as soon as you grab that drug-filled fanny pack. Just open it and take all the drugs out. And use them. How would I carry them away? I only have two pockets. Wrap them up in your jacket. Carry your Put jacket your out. Nose. <laughs> I've got this stuff. Don't yell, there's cops nearby. Shit! Speaking of fucking cops, I think I have company. I gotta go. Later. Speaking of fucking cops, I have to go do that. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom now. I don't want you to think I'm rude by talking to you as I relieve myself. Good day, little Jacob. I do that all the time. I don't know why people are bothered by it. Because, quite frankly, it's gross. Yeah. Alright, so as you can see from the radar there, there are quite a few policemen around. Pull back now. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> they don't have ball throwing sports over in Serbia or wherever. Serbia. Yeah. Don't mess with me. Now, there's actually a trick to making this mission a lot easier, which is something I realized after fucking it up so many times in the past. Would anybody like to guess what that is? Um, you, you can swim us? away? No. No. You can use a trainer to spot a helicopter and fly away. No. You I bet you could. Kill everyone. <laughs> oh. That, hmm. I never actually thought of it before because it always seemed like they just swarmed the damn place. But as it turns out, they are limited in number. And you can't I had expected something more revelatory than that, but okay. You know what? Nope. That's not the way they roll with GTA. Although there are a ton of fucking cops. Well, you said shoot them, but it's really not just shooting them, it's also shooting their helicopter out of the sky. Also, your volume is so low that we cannot hear you very well. I can hear him just fine. I can't. Please, scream into your headset. Entertain the masses. should not shoot into drywall. Why not? Well, it, it is very unlikely to cause damage to me, personally. Oh, that was advice for them, not, like, general advice? Yes. Well, no, you shouldn't shoot into drywall anyway, because I'm sure discharging a firearm like that uh, it's probably considered an offense in most states. Most localities. There's a guy who lives down the street from me who makes his own fireworks and he goes around and sets them off on other people's yards. Oh, that guy had a nice head. He's got the uh, rain bonnet. <laughs> or whatever, the, uh, whatever the hell they call it. The rain catcher. 
No, there's a, a specific police hat that if it starts raining, you will see them stop what they're doing. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. In the pocket and pull out a little plastic sheet. Never mind, I was thinking of a stupid thing and I will not think of it anymore. That type God of hat is called Nerf, the it has nothing to do with TF2. <laughs> Alright, so it's about this point that I realized, you know, I probably should do something about the helicopter because that seems to be what's really got all the heat on me. Why do they only protect their hats? Well, I don't know. Maybe the little plastic thing's bulletproof, but it's really expensive. <laughs> it's a matter of honor. Hmm. You can actually hear some of the policemen unleashing their Hanzo steel. <laughs> And then promptly falling on it. Unless yep. you shoot them. Okay, well, this... This is what I was talking about. Uh, if I had an RPG or something, this would be a hell of a lot easier, but I don't. Also, if, um, if you shoot the point at which the rotor joins the body of the helicopter... That no, it looks like you're shooting a million um, marines or picture. like Navy officers or something. Nice hat. That was Carl Winslow. <laughs> Shot a kid. I didn't do it. Or whatever Urkel says. Did I Did do I that? Did I do that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I guess I need coffee or something if I uh, missed something that easy. Oh well. I think you should, um, expedite your exit from this facility. Well, that's the plan, but I still have, uh, one policeman that's guarding the exit. So go to the exit and shoot him and leave. Well, you know, I don't know where he is. He could be a ninja. <laughs> like that one guy from G.I. Joe. <laughs> Snake eyes, I believe. Who's actually had no eyes and was blind, I think. I am rather impressed that you knew that off the top of your head. <laughs> uh, I've never seen an episode of G.I. Joe in my life. Oh, in that case, I'm rather horrified by the extreme level of autism that you're showing us here. <laughs> Wait, so they called a blind guy Snake Eyes? Yeah. Did they call, like, an armless man Hans? <laughs> yeah, but he, uh, he also didn't have any legs, so they couldn't get him to count by, uh, stomping the dirt. <laughs> Clever horse. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I hate this fucking game. Alright, so apparently, uh, blowing up their cars managed to shake loose all of these cops. <laughs> it's like blowing up a beehive. No, you ever do that? It's awesome. No, because I'm not an idiot. No, no, it's great. You have somebody else do it, and you watch from a distance, and he's totally old. <laughs> or from you. inside. Or on TV, <laughs> several hundred feet away. Yes, because blowing up a beehive or setting it on fire is clearly as dangerous as, say... Well, I wouldn't want to be around when the bees get pissed off. Are you I'm allergic saying. to bees? Nope. I don't want to get stung oh, by them, though, because no. that sucks. That was, not, that was not smart. My dream job is to work with bees. My mom wants to be a beekeeper, but if she keeps bees, I will move. <laughs> wow. I guess well, that's perhaps, way of kicking you out. Perhaps it's your mom's <laughs> way of just saying that she doesn't love you, and you should get used to it. Um, she told me she loved me today, so... Uh, you know what? Well, apparently she loves bees more, as well as delicious <laughs> and cheap honey. Quite frankly, if you're talking to people on the phone in the bathroom, <laughs> I, I would choose the bees too. Uh, no one's oh. ever called me on it. Uh, well, I'm doing it right now. I've made this a call out. Video. Hey, what happened to the sound? Oh, I I, I turned it down. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Wait, my computer broke. Wait, I just turned it off. That's what happened to Dracul. 
<laughs> he turned off his computer and he can't figure out how to turn it back on. Well, he had That's why he's never here. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh, don't All worry. All they can do is play Doritos chip blasts on his Xbox until the end of time. As well as Chex Quest. Alright. Finally. Progress. Yeah. We have some real progress here. I actually heard that, uh, that Doritos game was alright. Yeah, I actually heard it was not bad. I'm just making fun of them for it anyway. Also, I've only I've only actually seen him playing it once. There we go. <laughs> I shot that helicopter so hard that two people fell at the other side. Well, that's the helicopter that I'll just said that. With a bullet. <laughs> oh, shot! I thought he said shocked. <laughs> like he was so appalled by this display of violence that he couldn't move and needed help. <laughs> All right, now right here it says that there is a policeman on the other side of this fence. But I went over and all I found was a fucking boat. He is boat. probably in the water. No, no, there's nothing. It's just a police boat. There's nothing but corpses. Maybe he's under the police boat. He's waiting for you underwater. Are those police cars it's underwater. Good Aquaman. He's hiding inside the dash. He's gonna like burst out. And Although shoot. I should, I should say, <laughs> he's hanging on to the bottom of the boat. A fucking place. Big bear. I, I should say though, it never occurred to me originally when I was playing through this on the PlayStation that you know maybe I should try escaping on this boat that is conveniently placed right here. You can. What did you try to do instead? I would always just I would in a car. Away. Yeah. That's what I did. And uh, this is much easier. Probably what you were meant to do, in fact. But well, driving boats are so boring in this game. But look how fast he's getting away. Yeah. But it's boring. Yeah. I would rather Except that I have uh, this be tearing through the streets, here. pursued by cops, and going off ramps and blowing stuff up. Well, unfortunately, any me. ramp that I go Where off of you? is unsatisfactory, yeah. according no, to this game. <laughs> as well Not as Terry good did. enough. <laughs> Oh, you should have ramped up those steps. It's so dodgy to try and do it's not that. not ramped to a sufficient degree. <laughs> Alright, so nobody's gonna bother me with my big bag of cocaine. Well, they don't know what's in it. I should be leaving a little white trail yeah. <laughs> for people that it's confectioner sugar. You know, like I'm a baker, yes. Like He's... the guys on the motorcycle, uh, when, uh, Big Smoke has his drug ring set up, the second part of San Andreas. You know, if you shoot them while they're riding their motorcycle, you have the white trail. That comes out behind them. Idea. San Andreas is a good game. <laughs> yes. Why can't we be playing with that game? Oh. Because he already played it for like 300 hours. Look at all that concept art. Hey, there's Johnny. Yep. Johnny Klebitz or whatever his name is? Yes. Yeah, I think Klebitz is right. Sorry, so many Jews. <laughs> the Hades with you all I know water. Do you know, do you know what we use for water? The urine. I, don't know I liked how the Lost was very racially inclusive. That man had plenty of time to get out of the car, and by the way, that was just really good timing of the song. I was thinking that originally when I was... This is a town full of taxis. And not a single one of them speaks English. This no, I don't think the car can speak English or any language at this point. Um, excuse me, the Gadget Mobile spoke fluent English. Oh god, in that terrible movie? No. What oh. about, uh, Kit? Yes, from Knight Rider. Mr. Phoenix? the little laser going back and forth. Too bad this car is rear-wheel drive. Well, apparently I crashed right into the police station, too. <laughs> Just where I wanted to be with my big bag of drugs. <laughs> Leaving a little trail of cocaine. 
Get in the blood. Buy some drugs. Can the black man get a drive in the city? <laughs> you wanna buy some drugs? Where you wanna go? I wanna go home. <sighs> this is probably the easiest way of doing this mission, but it feels like a cut up. <laughs> oh, whatever. Good thing I ground up Michelle all that time to, so she wouldn't betray me right here. <laughs> I hope the next GTA adds a mechanic for for leaping through car windows without opening the door for quick getaways. You actually did that in uh, San Andreas with two of the vehicles, um, the Blood Rain mm -hmm. Banger and the. For the government. The stock car. Job. Well, yeah, but that was just because those doors didn't open. Yeah, but, you know, the mechanic exists. They just choose not to use it. Right? Please, please don't make Ah, <sighs> you bitch. You were a thoroughly uninteresting character. I don't fucking believe this. This is just like all those times that Michael Weston was betrayed. <laughs> you kind of look like Michael Weston with that outfit. I know! That's why you wore it. Oh. You fucking bitch. She's not that wearing an undershirt mean. this entire time. Voila. You mean to say you're going to let us off just like that? Not Naguan? What? Well, my employer. You heard the man. Not Naguan. Naguan. The office is in Algonquin. I'll call you. You know, as and when we need you. Are you coming on to me? The coke, please. Dumb bitch, it's only a bag full of rally cola. <laughs> That's fine. We get $2,500 <laughs> and we're almost done with Elizabetta. Whoops, knocked a trash can over.